what's up family welcome to this valuable video uh, anyway we're gonna be jumping into the video right away just before that I just want to tell you I started a new YouTube channel where I'll be preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus as we've been commissioned to preach it to everyone so make sure you go check it out it's under the name Emmanuel Mwaka um, just go check it out subscribe support as we're gonna be posting more valuable videos that are gonna strengthen you in your faith and of course we're jumping into this as before we can jump into it as well we just want to talk about this whole idea or this whole strategy where we're talking about the nasdaq um kill zone this of course is an area in the market and a time we have mastered that there's volatility in there and of course of that volatility we're able to take advantage of it and we are assured that we're gonna be moving with so much speed that the market is not just gonna play around being slow or ranging we know that it's gonna be quite fast to, to basically hit take profits so I need your utmost concentration as we go into this I'm gonna be giving you some instructions on the chart so I need you to be glued to your screen okay after that I need you also to subscribe and also like if you're a first-time viewer let's jump into it Okay, family, so as we can see right now, I'm on the H1 and I am on NASDAQ, okay? So I just want you to put this period uh, separators. If you have not uh, put them already uh, because of the previous video, please put them on your chart right away. How do you actually do that? On the right side of the mouse, of course, you're gonna go to your settings. It's gonna appear right there. You're gonna go all the way to session breaks. So as you can see, I've already done them. You can just tick that, customize the color, customize as well the line, okay? You can also decide in terms of how it appears right there. So I just want it to appear as much because I'm doing this video, okay? But I just normally have them lighter than that, okay? So now the next thing that I want us to understand is within the times that Nasdaq is actually going to be very volatile and within which areas that I want you to also pay attention to. I'm going to mention some times, please listen carefully and please do not be afraid to search this within your local time. If you do comment and say, what time is it? I do not know where you're commenting from or which country you're in. Even if you're in a different country, I may not know exactly what time is it. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna say it and please do pause after that and go research what time does it open. Now, at the New York opening, so we have the New York trading sessions. As you understand, we have three or rather four trading sessions. If you don't understand trading sessions, I did a whole Forex beginners class. We have the New York, we have the Asia, we have uh, the Australia, and of course we have the London. Now, the New York is the most powerful and it moves a lot of pairs that are associated with the US dollar. And with that, we're gonna have a lot of movement affecting NASDAQ. Now, because of daylight savings, it currently opens at 3 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna repeat it again. It currently opens at 3 p.m. Before daylight savings, it currently it would open at 2 p.m. South African time, guys. 2 p.m. South African time. So if you're not in South Africa and you're watching this video, pause, research what time does the New York session open in Ghana or in Kenya or in E Egypt whatever the case or wherever you may be once you've done it they will show you accurate times then I want you to look at at least from that opening all the way to at least five hours there you will see a lot of movement taking place so we're gonna monitor it right now on the chart and I'm gonna show you how you can always trade within these areas okay so for example, here I'm gonna go any type where this was news, so I just wanna go previously, so I'm gonna go on the M15, and you will see exactly we do have the London session, we do have the New York. The New York <clears throat> moves more than any other session. And I just wanna show you right here as we can get to this point, as this movement was taking place. You can see that if we take from, um, from the time of its opening all the way 
to at least five hours or before it closes so it closes around um, 10 p.m south african time you can see that we do have this whole beautiful movement here that took place okay so in this area or this area that we are marking here these are going to be known as kill zones i'm going to go and mark another area then we will come back into that so we'll go mark another kill zone from there all the way to uh, 10 that's a kill zone i'm gonna mark it again i'm just marking it to show you okay let's go um 3 p.m let's go three all the way to 10 p.m you will see what i talk about that's a kill zone i think that's more than good enough examples at least three that i will give you and as you can see right within this kill zone we can see that liquidity actually starts taking place each and every time we can see here the market started buying but of course can it just move out of anything no i'm just showing you a trading edge that you can take advantage of as a trader who wants to specialize in nasdaq i believe many of you are watching this video because you want to take advantage of nasdaq and of course me giving you this uh strategy and method you are gonna be able to take advantage of it fully enough knowing very well that there's gonna be liquidity that takes place so as you can see within these times we can see that it starts kicking in and we can see that accurate movement there more than about um, let's just see that more than about 222 pips okay or in points that's like more than 2,000 points within just a few hours within that uh, New York kill zone even right here we can see a very huge drop taking place uh, as we get into this kill zone you don't have to hold all the way and you don't have to enter immediately after the kill zone has been opened it just lets you know that this now is the time for you to pull the trigger in the markets because we are going to be getting liquidity taking place for example like here we can see buys were, were coming in and of course if we were to analyze this why did it sell i mean we did have some areas here that were really affecting the market we have this pure eye where the market actually came and retested that and we can see within this kill zone the market dropped all the way down there okay we can also see right here it's not, it was not quite a good movement as it was yesterday mondays i don't like trading because the market may be a bit slow but as, as you can see it was still a good move even all the way to that downside again you are going to use smart money if you're comfortable with with uh, using smart money otherwise you can just use any trading style that you're well acquainted with with just taking advantage of this um strategy or of this method within the markets and as you can see this is why this one sold and of course as you can see we had buys right here probably it was another um other block or whatever that zone was impacting it i want to go previously here this period sectors uh they just guide me in which day the market was moving again let's go i will show you um from three all the way to ten okay look at that the market was railing all the way down i mean this was quite easy there was a supply right there the market mitigated that and fell all the way effortlessly effort effortlessly so i mean if you can see from the time it fell 1545 all the way to about six so only three hours and amount and you could have you know backed yourself almost like 175 or 180 tips on nasdaq i like trading uh, within the london or within the asian session the market sometimes can be a bit slow or can be a bit tricky but with this one the movement is quite clear for you even right here we can see this this was nfp i think so if i'm not mistaken no it was an nfp sorry it was just any ordinary day and we can see if we can just go all the way uh to the kill zone can definitely see from that time all the way we can definitely see the market in fact gave two movements right there so the kill zone is quite active you can get buys you can get sells no matter what which one you choose to take 
you're gonna be profitable as long as you have a good trading strategy that you're well acquainted with i believe you can take advantage on what i'm showing you we do have uh, classes that we conduct on our website so we have that online course that you guys can take advantage of where we teach you how to trade smart money we teach you how to trade fundamentals um, in, in fact we also dive deeper into trading psychology because a lot of guys have the skill but don't have the mindset to manage the skill so we teach you that and the nature of approach and news trading so it's a it's a whole package you can go check it out for yourself uh, you can see the link in the description of the video and we're also running a black friday special so if you're interested in joining us this would be the best time for you to take advantage and join us in our institution i believe if you'll be blessed so blessed by the information that you will receive and it, it will enrich you to grow as a trader even more and more and more and of course don't forget to also back test what i just showed you right now i know i do utter it with the utmost simplicity but it's not as just simple as i'm just saying it you go deeper into it as you back test you will realize there's so many pips for you to collect each and every day on the markets so anyway i hope i was simple I hope I went straight to the point. Make sure you do subscribe to this channel. We have a lot of content that is made for you, especially for you to kill this market. So if you wanna be trading NASDAQ or indexes or news trading or fundamentals, we are the channel for you. God bless you. I will see you on the next video.